Today's session will be about watercoloring and using metallic paste on black watercolor cardstock. The result is glimmery and elegant. Stay tuned! Hello and welcome to Cut, Color, and Create. I'm Carrie Duncan and we're going to play around a little bit with something a little different. We're going to use Altenew's Amazing You. This one has been around for a while, but I love the whimsical look. And I especially love the sentiment, make today so amazing yesterday gets jealous. So we're going to uh, work with that. And I thought it would be fun if we watercolored on black watercolor cardstock. So I've got a, a panel of that, a quarter, panel of that. I do have a card base here. I've got a small misty because we're going to do some heat embossing. I have my Altenew watercolor brush set here. I'll probably stick with the smaller uh, brush, but we'll see. And then I'm planning to use the metallic watercolor set. I'm hoping that that will really set off our design. A full list of products and links are listed below in the description. So the first thing I'm going to do is heat emboss some images onto our cardstock. So we'll get started doing that. And I think I'm going to keep the design fairly simple. My thought is just this one pretty little image in it might be enough. So this is kind of what I was thinking, maybe more like And then we need room for this awesome sentiment. And I may just, I don't think I'll stamp that on. I may just put that out over the edge. So I'm gonna heat emboss this twice because these are separate. So I'll just pick that up. I'm going to use some anti-stick powder. I think I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little better. We'll just stamp that one more time to get a good image. And I, I can see that well enough where I'm gonna try and put the other stamp on and get it stamped at the same time rather than Doing it twice. And just repeat the process. And then I'm going to use gold embossing powder. I'm 
And I like to let it sit on the ink for a minute just to get a good take. And then I'm going to pour that off and give it a good wrap. And then I'm going to heat up my heat tool for 40 seconds before I start applying it to the stamped image. Here we go. There we go. Now that by itself is awful pretty, but we're going to step it up a notch with our metallic watercolor paints. But before we do that, I'm going to wipe off some of this anti-stick powder. And I'm just doing that with a microfiber cloth. I've got an eyedropper with water in it here. And I'm just going to drop some into the red. I'm going to do a little bit of orange just in case I want to add a little coloration. The green. Maybe some blue. And I'm going to do a little bit of the yellow gold just in case I want it. And what you need to do is let that set up a little bit before you get started. Okay, I am going to go with a number one paintbrush. And I'm going to get a piece of towel. You should always have paper towel ready when you're watercoloring. You can use it to sop up extra water. You can use it to clean off your brush. There's a number of reasons why you want to use paper towel. And we'll just get this to the point where it's a nice thick consistency. And let's just see what happens when we apply that to the watercolor paper. I think that's going to stick up on the on the cardstock real well. I was afraid that it would absorb into the paper and you wouldn't be able to see it, but I think you're going to be able to see it just fine. I'm just going to see what happens if I add a little orange to that. So I'm cleaning off my brush by dipping it into the water and then wiping the excess pigment off. And I thought just a little bit of orange on the tips might be kind of pretty. I'm just going to turn on some music so you can enjoy the watercoloring. set that 
that aside for now, let it dry, and then we'll work on the sentiment. And what my thinking is, is that we'll use vellum. My thought was that we just do kind of a banner. So I am going to get my Misty. Now I use a transparency grid because I have trouble getting things straight. And I just do it all the time so that I don't forget. Pick that up quick before it moves. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-static powder on. And we'll use some embossing ink. That should be good. And I'm gonna emboss this with gold as well. The same process is used with vellum as it is with regular cardstock. The only difference is you want to be a little careful when you're heating it because uh, vellum is is a little more fragile, and it will the the uh, embossing powder will heat up at a different temperature. So you won't have to heat it up as long. And, or hold it as long. So I'm gonna heat up my gun and get started. There we go. And I will just use a little trimmer. Now it looks like I did a pretty good job of getting that straight on the bottom. And so, I'm gonna try and make it even distance on the top as it is on the bottom. That looks pretty good. And then on the sides as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Helps if I have this in the view. And then I had some new toys here set aside just in case I thought I might try them. I have Ranger's new solar paste from Simon Hurley. And I think what I'm gonna do is play with that a little bit. And I've never used it before. Obviously it's not even been open yet, but I think that's what we are going to do. There is a cross my heart, which is kind of a pinky color. So I've got another piece of black cardstock here. And I'm going to pull out a, a craft mat because this has the potential of being messy. This one has kind of a, it looks like pinky orange, which might be perfect. Hopefully it is. So I'm just going to dip up a little bit of that paste, smush it on. Ooh, and you can really see the pink come out when you spread it. I hope you can see that.
it spreads beautifully. Whoop. What do I have in there? You always want to get paste off of your tools as quickly as possible because it sets very quickly and uh, you'll ruin your tools if you don't get them cleaned up right away. Alternatively, you could have a tub with water in it close by and just lay the, the tools down in the tub. I just got this sprayer here. I'm using that. And this cleans up beautifully, so. I do think I'm going to use a little bit of gold to set that off a little bit. I think it needs some dimension. So I think we'll cut that out. While we're doing that, please take a second to hit the subscribe button under this video. Then click on the bell so you don't miss another fun card making video. Bring in the die cutting machine. Up a little bit so you can see. I think that moved around a little bit, so I'm going to. Here's my flower. And the, the watercolor paper does tear when you remove the tape. It's uh, so fragile. Let me get this tape down.
Okay. I'm going to use my pick tool. Now, I think we'll go ahead and assemble this card. You always wanna, when you're cutting large rectangles like this, you always wanna put them on an angle and they will go through your die cutting machine a little bit easier. attach my panels before I attach my work to the card front. I'm just using a tape runner to attach these panels. Now, I rarely get these straight. So what I do is I use my stamp wheel to get my panel set straight. So I'm gonna put my accent color in and I'm gonna push it into the corners. And then I'm gonna take my card base with the back up. If you, sometimes my card bases are cut with, uh, one edge that's shorter than the other. So I make sure I know which I want on the back. And I push that in from this corner. So it's pushing towards this corner over here. And then press down around the edges. And lift up. And you can see that that added that panel beautifully. I don't see any black around the edges. So it works like a charm. Now, I don't think I wanna pop this up. I think I just want it, the dimension of the cardstock itself is going to be enough. So I'll just use more tape runner. And I will stand up for this and maybe get my head in the way because I wanna make sure that this is centered over. And straight, I, that looks pretty good. Okay. One more time. Nice straight lines. <laughs> this one. Just a faint little gold line. Edge. There we go. Let's 
If you haven't ever tried this, it is fabulous. I'm just going to go with little pieces. Just trying to decide on my arrangement. that. And I like to use the tweezers. So I kind of want, I like the idea of it going over the edges here and here. That's where it wants to be. I am going to use my creative station light. So I'll just place that in there. Sure, it's stuck on there real well. What that did is it just made a sticker out of my sentiment sheet. And that way you won't see any of the adhesive behind. Now the trick here is making sure that you get the sentiment good and straight. Having it off the, on this edge kind of balances out where I had it off over here. Fasten that down. And there we have it. Thank you for joining me today. Bye for now. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos.